Boxing fans, what's up? I'm Miguel Maravilla here with a preview for Ryan Garcia versus Javier Fortuna. A very, uh, you know, good matchup. Say what you want about it. You know, he's fighting somebody that Jojo Diaz beat, but stylistically, I like this fight for Ryan. Fortuna brings that awkward, slippery style. Of, he's a veteran. Ryan Garcia, again, he a knockout isn't necessarily going to, you know, do things for him. It's, it's, it's going to impress. However, in the long run, you're going to need to put in those rounds as you start getting up in the competition. But this is a, again, this is a great matchup. I, I like it for, for Ryan. It's uh, Saturday, July 16th, live on the zone from the Crypto Arena in Los Angeles, formerly the Staples Center. The veteran Javier Fortuna, former world champion, won his first world title back in 2015 with a unanimous decision over Brian Vasquez. His only defeats came at the hands of uh, Jason Sosa back in 2016. And a uh, very close decision to uh, Robert Easter Jr. in 2018. And last year, a unanimous decision to uh, Joseph Diaz Jr. And he is coming off a uh, first-round knockout, rebounding from the defeat to Diaz over uh, Rafael Hernandez. Garcia returned to the ring earlier this year in April as he uh, won a unanimous decision over Ghana's Emmanuel Togo. Just... Uh, Got the rounds in in that fight. Needed to get that rust off as he was um, out for uh, almost a year uh, battling mental issues. In that fight, uh, he scored a uh, knockdown and went on to win a unanimous decision. That taking place um, at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, which has uh, witnessed some very great fights. Prior to his... Uh, one year uh, leave of absence he stopped Luke Campbell in the seventh round in a fight in which he was uh, down from a uh, vicious shot by Campbell but managed to uh, rally and score the seventh round TKO now comes to this fight against the very gritty, very tough Javier Fortuna. I see this being a very fast-paced fight from right from the opening bell. Both fighters are, are very quick, very agile. Fortuna, again, is, is going to make this... Uh, he's in most likely going to try to make this a dog fight. Again, you have Ryan Garcia, who's very skilled, very flashy in that ring. A lot of pop. Fortuna experience. He himself has been battle tested. Ryan has um, yet to be in a fight that takes him the distance, that takes him to the later round, a fight in which he's gonna be frustrated. He has gone the distance in, in fights before, but at this level, he uh, he needs the, the rounds, he needs the experience. Like if he's going to want to take on bigger names, you know, the, the Haney's, the Cambosos, the Lomonchenkos, the Telfimos, you name it. I see this fight very, uh, very strategic from, from the get-go. Towards the middle part of the, of the fight, I, I do see uh, Ryan connecting with uh, some solid punches, but then Fortuna is going to mix it up with him. Fortuna is going to try to rough him up. Tr veteran tricks. These Dominican fighters are very slippery, very tricky, very awkward. However, Garcia does win this fight. I see him winning this fight by decision, possibly a late stoppage. 